You've been asking, Kimmy, is your food room ready? No, no it's not. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how we set up the new food storage room in the new house. While my parents were here for the holidays, they were here for a while and it was awesome. My dad helped us put the shelves up. He's put up and down shelves like this for years and he was such a big help. We're trying to figure out this space. This is, I don't know what this is. This is a little room. Ooh, cubby hole. You come down our stairs in the basement and boom, it's a little cubby hole. We've got two shelf units on this side holding all this stuff, but we haven't unpacked it yet, right? We're thinking we're gonna make this really snug and put another shelf or two. I don't even know how many shelves I have. I think I have enough to do two on this side and then over here in the family room, well, future family room, right here on this side. Yeah, you got an, at least another at least another six inches there. Okay, so we have six inches over there before it hits that so-called wall. And you got 14 and a half here, so you got 20, you got enough for another one to go all right, we're going to move this down, put one back here like we had at the old house, and so we're going to see if we can do that. All right, we got a plan. We're going to see how long my dad can last with us because my daddy did a boo-boo. What did you do, Dad? What did you do? I took night quill instead of day quill. We're going to try to keep him moving and maybe get it out of his system. He's like, am I going to fall asleep? I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, yes, you will. He was like, can I please help you? I did a boo-boo and I'm like, uh-huh, let's get this man moving. All right, we just moved that one down. So we'll put another one here and we'll see what we're doing over here. You can get the higher one up there. Sweet. These shelves I got at Home Depot, I'll try to find a link for you or something similar, but they're pretty easy to take down and put back up. You need a, like a rubber mallet, but we don't have it anymore. We borrowed it from a neighbor when we took them down. So you can just use a hammer and a piece of wood to knock on it to slip them into place. It's pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna build another shelf here that looks like that one. Another shelf that looks like this one here. And then here we'll have a tall shelf that'll be like that one, but we'll have another shelf on top because this we have nothing blocking us. So this will be the biggest shelf for all anything stored. So that'll be great. So in just a few moments, you're gonna see this fully stocked and ready to roll. So I realized I had this bookcase over in the one area of the basement that wasn't being used. We have nowhere to put it in this house. We just didn't know what to do with it. I got the bright idea. I said, Dad, do you think it could fit on this inside wall here? And he's like, yeah, I think so. So we measured it. And there you have it. Even though these shelves are blocking these cubby holes, we could still utilize these from the other side of the utility room. So Derek can put light bulbs or tools or whatever he wants over there. I am not sure how I'm gonna set up these shelves. I'm, I started playing with it right here to see how I wanna do this because I wanna save all this room for the bigger things. 
Uh, this has a shelf at the bottom, but this doesn't because this this room, I figured out what this room was. This room is supposed to be the basement bathroom. <clears throat> there is a pipe right here and there's a pipe behind this shelf too. We were able to get two really big shelves right here. We weren't able to get another shelf up top because of the duct situation here. But we were able to get two big shelves here. Then over on this side, we were able to get two. We thought we would only be able to get three tall shelves with one short one. Once we got going, we realized, oh, we can actually build four tall ones instead of short ones. So over here, we left space to put boxes or um, Rubbermaid bins underneath over here. This I want to utilize for this stuff that I'm going to be going through. It's a separate video um, for the games and videos and some other things that we can store on these shelves. Maybe more the kitchen appliances. We'll see once I go over here because I've got crock pots that um, I use for she's in her apron and other big kitchen things that I think we can move down here and free up some pantry space. So what I'm going to do now is start loading the shelves up. All right, I am done for tonight. So this is what I've got going on so far. And I did add I did add some things, more food storage, like dry food that are in big cans in there. These three boxes are again the canned, dry canned like vegetables and milk are in there. So this is what we're going to be using on an everyday basis. So I left this blank for right now, but all the food is out because I do want to bring in things from our pantry like the crock pots and more things that we don't use like every day so but as I do more I'll update you but here's what we got going on I just wanted a spot for all the Ziploc contain uh, baggies that we use um, for freezer meals and lunches like a basket for extra spices and packaged dips all the salt that we use there's rock salt for making ice cream and salt just for everyday stuff and then just some boxed meal things like stuffing and and macaroni and cheese and taco shells like that this is where I'm just gonna try out putting our salad dressings our barbecue sauces and over here will be more mayo and miracle whip and stock up the peanut butter here we go through peanut butter like crazy um, some more baking essentials here and box baking down here just have some pork rind chips just put there for right now this is where all the pasta is going to go. Um, we're low on pasta, which is crazy for us. Here, like, okay, when there's a sale, I need more pasta. I did go K-slot shopping, Smith's last week, and I got a few things. Tuna fish was one of them. Black beans and my kidney beans. I don't know where they went, but I've got a box just like this full of kidney beans that are going to go here. And So I picked up some like tomato sauce as well and some beef broth. Here is a baking box also that has a lot of powdered sugar and this will probably be more brown sugar. Uh, I know you guys are going to be wondering um, about a rodent problem. So far in this house we haven't experienced that but of course we'll keep our eye out. So this is like the tomato shelf. This has the big cans that I use when I make my gravy and tomato paste. So I know I'm low on tomato paste. Those are the last four that I have. I'm great on tomato sauces. I use those in stews and when I make my own pizza sauce. And then some stewed tomatoes. I'm low on those. Uh, diced tomatoes and crushed tomatoes. And then we go over here to tomato soup. I use that in my shepherd's pie. Rotel tomatoes. And then we have beef broth here. And here I have chicken broth. We go through a lot of it. We go through a lot of these quart boxes so I left a space when I go grab more at Costco there I can put them there this one is cream of mushroom cream of celery and I use those in um, stroganoffs uh, basically and some cream of mushroom soup in our corn chowder which takes cream style corn so I this would only make one very small batch of corn chowder so I know I definitely need more cream style corn and then we have regular corn the green beans we use green beans a lot in some soups shepherd's pie and if we do green bean casserole but that's rare and so back on this shelf we've got um, salsas and then tomato sauces will be here and then we go into the beans and refried beans and um, green chilies enchiladas and and things like that so our hot sauces some more beans here and then up here we have the tuna fish and clams 
evaporated milks and different like coconut milks and then a little bit of the baking here we have the pumpkin and some pie fillings that we didn't use from the holidays are here and then that way I could see them and I could bake some things up some mandarin oranges we use these for our orange salad that we do cranberry sauces there's a few recipes and some jellies that we use in recipes too like apricot and orange and then these are like the random little things that you buy like olives and chili sauce and and things like that so I, I thought maybe we could stack the cereal up here the kids can reach it we could just kind of have it kind of be stocked there so we're gonna see how that goes so I already can tell what I'm low on and um, on another day I'll come down and make my list of what I need to stock up on so when the next case lot sales happening I can grab it or when there's a sale going on in the ads that I notice I could stock up and get the best price for it as well. So this is our food storage room in the new house. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs>